This QuickBooks Online Intermediate module will guide users on managing payment terms and conditions. Understanding how to set and apply payment terms is essential for ensuring that your invoices and bills accurately reflect the agreed upon payment expectations between you, your customers, and your vendors. By mastering this feature, you can streamline your billing processes and improve your cash flow management. Let's dive into the details. To begin, log in to your QuickBooks Online account and navigate the payment term settings by clicking on the gear icon located in the upper right corner of your dashboard. From the drop down menu, select all lists under the list section and then click on terms. This will bring you to the terms page where you can manage your payment terms. To create a new payment term, click on the new button at the top right corner. A pop up window titled New Term will appear. Here, enter a descriptive name for the term, such as Net 90 or Payment Due within 90 days. You can choose to define the term as a fixed number of days by entering 90 or you can select alternative options like due by certain day of the month or due the next month if issued within. Once you've entered all the necessary details, click Save to create the term. If you need to edit an existing payment term, repeat the term in the Terms list and click on the Edit button next to the term name. Make the required changes in the pop up window and click Save to update the term. Applying payment terms to invoices and bills is straightforward. For invoices, navigate to Sales from the left hand menu, select Invoices, and either create a new invoice or edit an existing one. In the Invoice screen, you'll find a field labeled Terms. Click on the drop down menu to select the appropriate payment term. After filling out the remaining invoice details, click Save and Send to email the invoice to your customer. For bills, go to Expenses from the left hand menu, select Suppliers, and create a new bill. In the Bill screen, locate the Terms field and select the desired payment term from the drop down menu. Complete the rest of the bill details and click Save and Close. Let's consider an example to illustrate the process. Imagine you are a wholesaler and you have a customer, Mr. Aston, who regularly purchases products from you. You have agreed that the customer will pay within 30 days of receiving the invoice. To reflect this agreement, you will create a net 30 term in QuickBooks Online and apply it to all invoices for that customer. When creating an invoice, select the customer, choose Net 30 under the Terms field, complete the invoice details, and send it. This ensures that the due date is automatically set to 30 days from the invoice date, providing clarity for both you and your customer. Properly setting and applying payment terms is a crucial aspect of managing your business's financial operations. It helps ensure timely payments and maintain good relationships with your customers and vendors. Thank you for joining today's session on managing payment terms and conditions in QuickBooks Online. Happy bookkeeping. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.